you've been told you have cervical spondylosis, which also just means arthritis of the neck. Most commonly, people with cervical spondylosis will feel stiffness, particularly in the morning, neck pain, headaches, and if it gets really bad, things like muscle spasms, dizziness, and even tingling down the arm are common. So what do you do to help this condition? Stay tuned. My name is Dr. John Saunders, and in the past 19 plus years in practice, I've literally seen thousands of cases of cervical spondylosis. The first thing you need to do is understand that help is available. Now, this is a condition that varies in severity for many people, so I strongly suggest you speak to your healthcare provider to make sure the exercises and stretches I'm going to show with you in one moment are appropriate for you. The spectrum of symptoms can go from no pain to severe disability due to difficulty with walking and moving. One thing I do know is that you can manage this and still have a very high quality of life. In order to help yourself manage and feel better, this routine should be done daily. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start with some gentle stretching, then we're gonna move into some exercises, then some mobility, and then finally a little bit of traction. Now, work through this slowly with me. I recommend you go through this with me and then you rewind the video and do the routine again. Get in a habit. Once you do this a few times, you'll have memorized it, and I strongly suggest you pick the same time every day to move through this routine. If you do this on a daily basis, I know you're gonna function and feel better. Let's get to it. The first thing we're gonna start with are just some gentle stretches. Always, 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 when performing any stretch or exercise, make sure you're in an upright posture. Pull your shoulders back, set in a comfortable position with your head over top of your shoulders, and the first one we're gonna do is rotation. So we're gonna go as far as we can, and then just put a little pressure to kind of push into the restriction. Now, you wanna hold this for about 15 seconds. And then we're gonna to move to the other side. Again, right rotation. If you have TMJ problems, you might wanna push on your head. And the stretch, the, the force that you use is very gentle. You just wanna to get to a point where you start to feel that restriction and hold it. Some of you might not need to put any pressure on it, but for those that want a gentle stretch, again, 15 seconds. You do this two times in rotation. The next one we're gonna do, again, pull our shoulders back. We're gonna go into extension. And now this one might be a bit difficult. If you get a little dizzy, now don't push too hard. And for this one, you probably don't need any pressure. About 15 seconds with your shoulders back, engage your rhomboids or pinch your shoulder blades together and then come down. Again, in flexion extension, you wanna be very careful not to push too hard. We're gonna do that twice as well for 15 seconds. Now we're gonna move into lateral flexion. So shoulder, sorry, so ear to shoulder. You don't wanna hike your shoulder up. You wanna just literally take your ear and push it to your shoulder. So it's not a bend, it's a flexion in the side of the neck. 15 seconds for this one. You can put a little pressure if you need to. And then we'll come back to the center. And again, the opposite way, a little bit of passive stretch. And back to the center. Now for strength. The same thing for strength is we're going to use a very gentle isometric exercise. So let's start in rotation. So you start midline, put a little pressure and you're gonna push into the direction, but you're gonna resist it. We're gonna do this at both beginning and end ranges of motion. Hold up for about five seconds and then we'll rotate as far as we can. And again, we're pushing back again. So our hands coming this way and our heads moving back. Five seconds. We'll come to this center again. We're pushing this way. around five seconds and then rotate, shoulders back. And again, push and resist with your hand. We'll do the same thing for lateral flexion now. We'll start here, but this time the movement is this way. Gentle, five seconds or so. 
come down again it's not rotation sorry it's not bending it's ear to shoulder with your shoulder drop down and then push and resist and come back up at the top five seconds or so and then we'll move as far as we can down and again push down and resist with your hand Okay, moving right along, we're gonna go into some mobility. So mobility is, is activating the muscles through a range of motion. So for this one, we're gonna to start to move rotation back and forth. I'm gonna do it about five times on each side for about 10 reps. Six, I think, we're at seven, eight, nine, 10. We'll take a little rest. We do another set of that, but we're gonna move on to the next movement. This time we're gonna do some protraction and retraction. Three, four, pull your shoulders back, not like this. Seven, nine, and 10. And now lateral flexion, just a steady pace. You should feel your muscles activating while you move through the range of motion. And then the most difficult one, lateral translation. So you wanna move your head back and forth. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Some of you might not be able to do that, but work to it. You don't wanna be, it's not a lateral flexion, we've done that. It's literally a translation. Your eyes wanna stay in the same plane as you move back and forth. You'd work through that twice as well. And now finally, your neck should be nice and warm. We're gonna do a little bit of long axis distraction with our hands. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna pull, bring our hands, we're gonna cup our base of our skull with this part of your hand and the thumbs underneath your mandible or jaw. You're gonna relax, we're gonna pull straight up for about five to 10 seconds. Scrunch your cheeks up like mine and then come down. Now be careful you're not tilted to one side or rotated. You really want this to be nice and straight and linearly up. We're trying to do undo some gravity here by just tractioning and opening up the disc spaces and stretching the ligaments and discs. Again, so the movement is up and straight. Hold for five to 10. And come down. We'll do this two to three sets as well. So this whole routine should take you mere minutes. We're gonna start with the range of motion exercises, and then we're gonna move into the isometric exercises, then into a little bit of mobility, and finally end with some traction. They should be done daily for the best results. So there you have it, a very quick routine to help with cervical spondylosis. Now, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below, and I'll do my very best to answer them. If you're new to my channel and like content such as this, maybe you'll consider subscribing by hitting the subscribe button below so you can be informed when I upload a new video. Stick around and check out my channel. I'm sure there's a video on here somewhere that's gonna benefit you to help you help yourself in the comfort of your home. Thanks for tuning in. I can't wait to see you on my next video and until then, stay well.